Okay, my name is Dr. Sean Liu, and I'm a urologist with Greater Boston Urology. I am mostly at the Framingham office, but I also will be going to our new uh, Dedham uh, location office. I think I wanted to become a doctor at a pretty early age. Um, back in, when I remember all the way back to middle school and high school, I thought I'd like to be a physician. Although I don't come from a family of physicians, um, maybe it was just the drive to help people and, and be in the healthcare profession that prompted me to be a physician. The times away from here, I tend to be spend. Uh, I tend to spend it with family, and uh, uh, you know, we go out to parks and museums, do all the things that uh, young fathers do. And so, um, I do enjoy that. We also uh, enjoy traveling and and kind of visiting other places. With urology, it's it's fascinating because in general surgery, um, you know, they'll take out your appendix or gallbladder and may never see it again. But uh, with urology, there's some uh, longevity of care. You see patients uh, from beginning to end. You're following patients sometimes from the middle ages all the way until their 80s or 90s. You do build relationships with patients that you can kind of carry forward. And uh, in that sense, urology is a little bit more uh, unique compared to some of the other surgical fields. Over the last 10 to 20 years, the advent of minimally invasive surgery in urology has really uh, skyrocketed. Lasers in urology have also come into play in the forefront uh, again over the last 10, 20 years. Um, laser surgery can be utilized for kidney stones and also for the prostate, specifically benign prostate hyperplasia. People who have had kidney stones have most commonly probably undergone a surgery called shockwave lithotripsy. And that does work well in a lot of instances, but if you have stones and you've had multiple shockwave uh, lithotripsies and they haven't worked for you, uh, you know, we can offer laser surgery, specifically ureteroscopy, meaning looking into the ureter and kidney with a scope, using a laser and breaking those stones where maybe shockwave lithotripsy has failed. It's more precise, there's no blood loss, um, it's very efficient, and um, it's very effective. Greater Boston Urology is a, an excellent example of an integrated practice. You have uh, multiple urologists who have varied interests. Um, we have a pathologist in our clinical lab that specializes in urologic pathology. And uh, when you're part of an integrated practice and, and with other urologists, you can bounce ideas off of other doctors, kind of share uh, you know, patient problems and kind of see what you know, other people's opinions are. And, and sometimes that can be very useful in helping uh, solve a patient's issue. Um, and we offer you know, multiple patient uh, clinic offices that they can go to and, and um, you know, I think that really offers a lot of advantages for patients.